Good day YouTube. This is just a bit of a fun quick comparison video between KDE Neon on the left and Manjaro KDE version on the right. So grab your stein of coffee and let's get started. Okay, so starting off, we have the KDE Neon on the left and the Manjaro uh, on the right KDE version as well. So very similar in nature when we're talking about desktop environments here. Uh, I do actually really like what they're doing on the Manjaro side of things with that dark theme, very cool, but very similar if not the same in many ways there, just scrolling across. Now, if I was to get into this a little bit further, we can see that we've got the, yeah, the KDE Neon here, and we've got the Manjaro here. Now, KDE Neon, just to give you a bit of a backstory, is actually based on Ubuntu, whereas the Manjaro Linux is, of course, based on Arc Linux. So all of the power of the back end of Arc, but with the simplicity of the front end of Manjaro, or in this case, the, uh, the Plasma desktop environment. Uh, now, uh, moving on, if we were to have a look at the kernels, now a slightly older kernel uh, used for the KDE Neon at 5.4, whereas almost the latest and greatest for Manjaro uh, 5.9. Something to do with this might be the fact that this one is actually a rolling release, so you're always getting updates here, whereas instead on the KDE Neon, since it's based on Ubuntu long-term service release version, that means it's got uh, point releases. So this is going to be a little bit better for uh, later hardware, for instance there. Uh, the If we were move, to move across to have a look at maybe even the file managers here, we will see that there are some similarities, some small colorful differences there, but uh, being KDE Plasma, the desktop environment, you are always pretty much going to see the, the Dolphin file manager there as well. It is customized uh, for, for the colors based on the operating system there, but again, nothing too much to write home about there. Now the package managers uh, are a little bit different here. So on the uh, KDE Neon side of things, we are using apt or aptitude on the uh, command. But uh, on the uh, Manjaro side of things, it's Pac-Man all the way when you're installing things. So Pac-Man, package manager, and that's what it is. Uh, let's have a look and move across to see what the, the, the actual hardware usage of these puppies is. So we can see that we've both got uh, allocated four gigabytes of RAM to each of the, uh, the, the machines. CPUs running nice and idly, good to see there. But uh, we are actually using a little bit less RAM on the, on the KDE Neon side of things. So 530 megabytes of RAM straight off the, off the bat. Nothing really opened up in the background, just booted up from scratch. Whereas about 620 or 600 30 megabytes of RAM for, for Manjaro KDE. So something to bear in mind depending on uh, the quality of your hardware, systems, old laptop, be it, and what have you there. But that's pretty much it guys. Just a super simple, quick, fun comparison video between KDE Neon on the left there, and then we've got Manjaro KDE Edition on the right. So thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys there in the next one. Cheers.